What is up guys? It is Game Storms here in the Battleborn beta. And I thought it'd be nice to just go through all the characters, see all the skills, how they play. So we're going to be doing a full match with each and every character I hope to do. Um, I'm going to try and unlock as many characters as I can so that I can make a video before this beta runs out to have one of each character at least. So we're going to use Thorn today. She is the character that I wanted to start with when the beta came out. And we're going to read off her skills here. You have her LB. Well, first off, let's start out with the top. She's agile. She's a sniper in advance. She's advanced. I guess advanced means how to use her is advanced. Anyway, LB, she fires a horizontal swath of arrows, each dealing damage. It's called volley. The arrows ricochet off world terrain, which this is very good when you're up close to somebody. You hit them with all of the volley, you will do a crap ton of damage. Um, RB is a summon of field corruption for a short time. Enemies caught within this field take damage every half a second. This is very good for getting waves of mobs going. And then you have your Y, which is your ultimate. After a brief charging period, hurls a massive energy bomb that explodes for massive damage. This is kind of hard to hit. It really is. Um, definitely takes getting used to it. I haven't um, gotten it down yet. And then you have her passive ability, which is enemies hit with a charged arrow or highlighted and cursed for a short time. Skills and charged arrows deal additional damage to cursed targets. Which is what we're going to be building our thorn. We are going to be building our thorn for cursed damage. And hopefully we can get some stuff started with that. So let's taunt here. we got a full team. Marquis, Serendi, Wrath, and Reyna. Um, apparently Reyna is very weak. I don't know necessarily. I haven't used her yet. I've only used a handful of characters. I've used three or four characters in the beta. I'm, I'm enjoying Thorn. I'm enjoying Thorn. That's why I wanted to make the first video with her. I'm especially... Enjoying Phoebe. Phoebe is freaking amazing. Which she's right up on the screen right now, fighting. Alright, we're gonna start off with the augment. We're gonna do our um enemies damage by blight are sl slowed for a short time. That's probably what we're gonna be doing. Um slowing down enemies in this game is very nice. Um let's get a show our skills. Our LB is our volley, which does ricochet, as you can see, ricocheted off. RB is our blight does call down a little thing and anybody standing in that will get damaged we can zoom in let me taunt real quick there's a thumbnail <laughs> all right let's go um we're just gonna we're gonna go this way all my teammates are gonna go that way which means they're just gonna run faster and we're just gonna try and get as many gems as we can as fast as we can so we already have 300 mainly what we're gonna do here is we're since I'm using Thorn, we're going to be focusing on getting the enemy waves down. We don't really need to worry about anything else. We're going to be focusing on the enemy waves here right in the start. Um, I don't, have yet to see a single enemy. There they are. And... See, he took a crap ton of damage from that volley, which is great. Um, we probably are going to die here. Arendi helped me out drastically. We are going to get out of here. We are going to get as far away as we can, um, pick off some people, and then we're going to be teleporting for sure back to base to heal up. All right, we're teleporting back now. We did level up, so we can augment to our next ability. Um, I wish there was a little bit more variety here, but there's not... Um, all arrows become cursed, which is what we're going to do, of course. If I'm standing it in my blight field, which doesn't happen very often, but if I'm standing in it, um, my arrows will be cursed, which is going to help us a lot when it comes to enemies, because you're going to find out that I can do some bleed damage with the curse, so that's it's going to help out a lot. My teammates seem to be handling this pretty well. Um, right now, it seems like we have the advantage. Which is good. Um, it's definitely hard to have the advantage on this. Alright, I just got overshield because of uh, Reyna. That's nice. I like it. I don't like the I don't like the way abilities are cast. It's really okay, we can actually curse right here. And he's dead. We're out of here. We're gonna move now. His wrath is gonna come for me. Nothing I could do. Um, we can upgrade our stuff here. Um, I think we're just going to wait till 800 shards. We are going to 
do the shard increase because it actually helps drastically in this. You're going to see that I'm going to have thousands upon thousands of shards. Um, I'm not going to go over there. Okay, we got enough for the shards. Let's get the shard thing. This generates so many shards, it's ridiculous. Um, we can actually face this guy already because of having a bow. So we can actually just crit the fuck out of him. Which I love, by the way, being able to do this. Because it's actually pretty hard to take these guys on by yourself early on. Like right in the beginning of the game. It's really hard because you do lose a bit of health usually. But I handle this pretty well. Got him down. And we're actually going to be able to summon one right away. It's going good. Going good. I, I, I'm actually surprised at how fun this is. Like, it has that Borderlands feel. But it is a MOBA, so, you know. You gotta be interested in MOBAs a little bit, I think. But if you haven't gotten into MOBAs yet, this would definitely be a nice stepping stone to get in. Because this shit is just phenomenal. Oh my god! Marquise did not just do that. He did not just come down here to fight me. He, he, that, that was the dumbest move he could have done in his life. If my aim is better, I'm going to die. Wraith's going to kill me. Because my aim is complete booty cheeks right now. You really have to get... Here we go. I don't know who killed him. I didn't kill him. Our Marquise killed him. My aim... Sometimes my aim is on point. Out of the times, it's just not. It's very hard. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it's easy to freaking do this with the aiming. I actually enjoy using melee characters over the shooting characters, just because it's a lot easier to aim. Um, we're gonna do goes through multiple enemies. Oh, this is actually good. This is good. We can actually get some damage on their boss. There we go. I'm getting sniped out by Marquise. I just noticed that. I was like, how the hell am I losing health? But Marquise is over there freaking doing what he does and sniping away. Which is what we're meant to do. We're meant to stay back. We, we don't want to get too... Oh, we're outie. Alright, here's Marquise again. There, see? There we go. That was some good aim. I'm not going to lie about that. We got him again. And again. I'm just going to teleport back, um, and then we're going to get our penetrate, which is good, because we need to get some armor penetration, and it's going to work out for us. Uh, do we want crowd control or armor penetration? We'll just do with armor penetration for now. We'll get our crowd control quite soon. Um, I like the pack opening things, because you can like build your skill thing to how, to whatever character you plan on using. You can build it towards that, and it's fucking great. Um, I'm gonna fight these bosses here. Or these minions, not bosses, really. But I'm gonna fight them. I love this, because it's, it's so easy to crit them, they just stand there. And it's like... One's down. Or, one should be down. And, uh, right now, there we go. Uh, we might as well blight again. Alright, we can volley now. He did drop his shield there for a second. I did miss the opportunity, kind of, but it's whatever. This would be a good summon, actually. This, Because this is going to summon two minions. This is going to be... Fuck! We might actually kill him. We got him. He stood in that just in time. We, we blighted so perfectly. Volley puts a curse on a target, which is exactly what we're building for. We're building for cursing, of course. Um, I actually, whew, that was scary. I, I did think we were screwed there. We can get my crowd control now. This is going to be nice. He's dead. There's no way he was living that. We can curse there. Just get some enemies dead. Which is nice. See, it's good with this because I can use her ability to just farm. But we'll see. Actually, what? Did it just say my costs are more expensive because of the stuff I have on? That's fine. I have my shard increasing. Trust me, shards aren't going to be any problem eventually. Yeah, 483. That's that's a actually a big increase. It's usually just a plain 400, not 483 at all. 
All right, we hit him with that. We need to get, we're almost at level five, so. This is good. We're actually doing a heaping damage. They, see, I don't understand, like, see, they have a shit ton of damage done to our boss, but I don't remember them ever hitting our boss. Like, it, it's just, it doesn't really exist. It doesn't show that your boss is being hit. I'm dead. I think, yeah, he got me. The boss got me. I wanted to do my thing. Curse damage and stalls bleed, which is what we want. Bonus damage to curse targets to penetrate shield 100%. Which, I mean, doesn't really matter. And we can increase curse's damage or end duration. But I'm, I'm better off with the bleed. Either way, you're building towards curse most of the time when it comes to this character. But, I don't know. I have yet to decide on how I want to build it exactly. I mean, there's plenty of choice in this on how you want to build your character. There's not as many choices as I would like. Um, if you play other MOBAs, there's definitely a lot more choice. Let's just get some more shards. I don't know why I shot that shard. I could have just fucking... All right, we're gonna we're gonna fuck Marquise up. He's done. All right, never mind. We're not fucking Marquise up at all. We are gonna we're actually in a bad spot here. I'm hitting freaking Oscar Mike over there as much as I can. Oh wait, 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 wait! I got my ult. I forgot I leveled up. Oh come on! You've gotta be joking me! Oh my god. Hell to the no. Yeah, walk into that. And Marquise, you're mine. I don't give a fuck. It's too hard to aim. Damn. Alright, we got Marquise. We leveled up again. This is good. Uh, cool down volley, which is definitely what we want. I We could increase our blight effect. Which, of course, would help us, but... I don't find it that I just summoned that on my teammates, my own minions. So that was that was a waste. Oh well. Volley. And these minions are done. All right, we need the. Oh, we can actually get this. We'll summon that. That slows down the enemies and will speed us up, letting our minions travel faster to the final boss. Which is gonna be great, cause they are—they're flying, dude. All right, we actually—we have a good marking right now. We're gonna destroy the turret, cause that's what's gonna help us. Um, we're gonna summon this. We're gonna get rid of these minions as much as we can, cause they are gonna be focusing on that. We can actually hit the main boss, which is nice. It's so hard to aim with zoom in. Like, I don't zoom in much just due to the fact that it is hard to fucking hit it. It really is. I'm going to die to the boss. Alright, we're going to teleport. We should be able to get out of here in time. Nobody's going to shoot us. Alright, we're back. Back at the base. Let's go. Now we do have to get across the map, of course, but that's fine. We actually might be winning this soon. Um... Since we're winning this soon, I'm probably just going to try and go for the minion. Maybe to help us out if we just can't get it in time. Like, just having him is going to help. It just is. Yeah. So we're, we're barely doing... We're doing slow amounts of damage. With this guy coming to help, it's going to go a lot faster. But I honestly think we're... We probably won this. Four health left, three health left, two health left. One health left. We actually only got the level 7. That increases my accuracy, which is good. And, oh, did they stop us at one health? That's going to be nuts that they did. Like I said, we didn't really have to worry about gems at all. Because I just get a shit ton all the time. And that's it. That's game, guys. Let's go see how we did stat-wise. And then I will leave it until the next video. But this, this was a fast match. It's about half the time it usually takes. It usually takes like 22 at least. And then either that, it's usually the full 30. But we did good. They did get a damage on us first, but we were able to bounce back real fast. And finish it with a, a clean sweep, really. 
Um, I didn't. Th I don't think I did that amazing. Um, we're definitely gonna be going up to level 13 here. We got her to class rank five. We got a new ooh, new mutation for Valian. That's good. <coughs> Statistics, 4-2, and two. yeah, I didn't think we did that amazing. It was a fast game, though. We did kill the most minions. We did get the most shards. So still, we did have the highest. We had the least amount of deaths. So you know what? It was it was a good game. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give this video a thumbs up. And it, please tell me if this was interesting, because this game is fun, and I, I want to play it. Definitely going to be getting the game now, but I'm going to leave it at that. See you in the next video, guys. Peace.